if you combine the benefits with three-year Azure reserved instances, some organization can save up to 76%. Welcome back to the Azure Essential Show. I'm your host, Thomas Maurer. Today, we are talking about the Azure Hybrid Benefit for Linux, which gives users an easy way to convert and migrate existing Red Hat and SUSE subscriptions, all with zero downtime and flexible payment models. To help us explore the benefits and features of this product, I'm joined by my colleague, Shriya Bahedi. Welcome to the show, Shriya. Thanks for having me, Thomas. Happy to be here. So Shriya, let's just jump right in. Can you give us a quick overview of what the Azure Hybrid Benefit for Linux is all about? Sure, Thomas. So Azure Hybrid Benefit, AHB for short, for Linux helps enterprises modernize their infrastructure, reduce cloud costs, and maintain seamless hybrid operations. And we know that migrating to the cloud and preparing to scale can be expensive and it can also be disruptive to your operations. So AHB for Linux allows you to leverage your current Linux subscription investments by migrating them directly into Azure. And you know what's really important is that you have the ability to switch the software subscription model for your Linux VMs without redeploying them, so there's no downtime. That means you can modernize your infrastructure, and maintain a seamless hybrid operation, all while staying compliant. And when you are in Azure, Microsoft handles automatic image maintenance, updates, and patches, so you stay secure and up to date without any extra effort. That is fantastic, and I'm sure Linux users will be thrilled with this. So I have to ask, what distros and versions are currently qualified for the Azure Hybrid benefit? So uh, right now, AHB for Linux supports Red Hat Enterprise Linux, which is called RHEL, and SUSE Linux Enterprise Server. So if you're a RHEL customer, you will need to enable cloud access through Red Hat subscription management before applying the benefit. And once that's done, you're ready to migrate. So you mentioned the Azure Hybrid Benefit for Linux, which is the ability to switch the software model for your VMs with virtually no downtime. And of course, the other benefit of Azure Hybrid Benefit basically is cost savings. Can you describe how customers can save money by migrating their licenses? Yeah, great question, Thomas. So by applying or converting existing Linux VMs, you can drop the software fee cost. So there are two models. One is bring your own subscription that is called BYOS, and the other one is pay as you go. So let's, let's start with BYOS. So what you do is here you bring your own Red Hat or SUSE Linux subscription to Azure, and you only pay for the infrastructure cost of the VM. The software fee is already covered by your existing subscription, and this applies even when you use Azure Marketplace RHEL and SUSE Pago images. That means there are no additional license fees paid within Azure. Oh, fantastic. I think this is a great option, obviously, for some of the companies. Um, but what does pricing look like with the pay as you go model? Yeah. So in the Pago model, what you do is you purchase RHEL or Slack subscription directly through Azure and pay only for what you use which gives you flexibility to scale your subscription up or down based on your need. And you still benefit from lower prices when purchased at scale. Now, whether you choose the PayGo or BYOS models, your savings can be significant. And if you combine the benefits with three-year Azure reserved instances, some organization can save up to 76%. Wow, that's a huge margin of savings, especially if you're operating without a huge budget. Uh, is the Azure Hybrid benefit only for current VMs? No. So you can enable this benefits on new VMs too. So you can provision both Pago and BYOS using the same image and process. But what's important is that you are not logged into the licensing model. And if your needs change, you can always change the licensing in the future. And these new VMs are connected to Red Hat update infrastructure by default, 
which is updated and secure, but you can always change the update method after deployment. Ah, you bring up a very good point here um, about the changing needs of organizations. Uh, so if a user organization chooses the pay-as-you-go model or the BIOS model, are they stuck with that choice or can they move forward? No, not at all. So you can convert licenses anytime you need to. The conversion is seamless and bi-directional. So you can see, switch from Paygo to BYOS or BYOS to Paygo whenever you need. And you can do all this with no downtime or redeployment while Microsoft takes care of maintaining, updating, and patching the image. That ability to switch between licenses really helps organizations main flexibility and scale up or down as they need, right? And so I think that's going to be very beneficial to many organizations. So finally, can you talk a little bit about which type of Linux VMs this benefits applies to? Yeah, so this extends to virtual machine scale sets, spot virtual machine, and even custom images which makes it a robust, scalable solution that provides incredible support and flexibility. Fantastic. So if I now want to learn more, where can users find more information? Yeah, so there are two things I want your viewers to do. First, head over to Azure Hybrid Benefit page where we have all the information you need to prepare your workloads for the cloud. And while you are there, try out the Azure Pricing Calculator to estimate your hourly or monthly savings by migrating to Azure. And of course, we have documentation on Microsoft Learn that provides a detailed explanation for how to enable Azure Hybrid Benefit for Linux, whether you are licensing a new VM or applying it to an existing one. That's great. Shriya, this has been a great conversation, and I love how much is available to Linux users to save money on subscriptions they are probably already using uh, and gain security and scalability in the process as well. Thanks, Thomas. This has been fun. Fantastic. You can find links for all the resources that Shriya covered today in the episode description section below. Don't forget to leave your feedback in the comments. Let us know if you have migrated your Linux workloads to Azure and what tips you might have for other users considering it. Also, give our show a like and subscribe to the channel to get notified when a new episode drops. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time on the Azure Essentials Show.